Hey guys, it's Kaylee, and I am back with another thrift haul. This is a continuation of some of the most recent uh, thrift hauls that I've done. I got a really large thrift haul. I've only been once since our thrift stores opened back up, and I am still working through that haul. Today's haul is going to be all women's clothing, and if you want to see some of the other hauls I did, which include men's, then check out my latest videos. All right, let's get into this haul. All right, so this first one is actually kind of a mistake and a lesson learned on my part. So I wanted to share with you guys so you didn't make the same mistake. So my thrift store had this white blazer jacket paired with this white skirt as a two-piece set for $4.99. So without really looking too far into it, I just kind of checked it over for staining and I saw that it was by Lauren Ralph Lauren, size 12. It's 100% linen, which is uh, a brand that I really love picking up. The quality is good. The style is good. Um, so I thought the whole suit set was Lauren Ralph Lauren. But it turns out, after I went to process everything, that this is actually Talbot's size 12. Um, but these pieces go really well together. So unfortunately I do think that I am going to break these pieces up just because they're different brands, but make sure to check that even if your thrift store puts pieces together, don't automatically assume that it is by one of the brands. So regardless, I still think I'll be able to get good money for both of these pieces separately. So this blazer is by Lauren Ralph Lauren, and it's definitely an older piece. Linen's always a great material that I love picking up. I really like the cut of this. Um, it's got like a, I don't know, like a old uh, southern summer vibes to it, I guess. And just in really quality condition, you can feel that it is quality. So between the two pieces, I paid $2.50 each. Um, I'll have to do comps on this, like specifically just this piece alone. But I'm thinking I can probably still get $40 to $45 for this individually. And so this was the skirt by Talbot's that I thought was part of that set. And it's also 100% linen. I mean, both of these things go really well together. I should have just checked. Um, zipper on the back. Good length. It's kind of like a midi length, which is really in right now. I think if I put the right keywords in this, I could probably sell this for about $30 to $35. But I need to do more research into that. This next dress is a really, really long maxi dress with an eye cap print, and this is by Athleta, which um, I've sold Athleta dresses before. This is a good size, too. It is a size extra large, but when I've picked up Athleta pieces, they haven't been, like, casual like this. They're sporty dresses, so this felt really quality. It's got... Um, built in like bra in it too which is really nice eye cap pr print is really in which is kind of like these blurred lines that you see here got the uh, keyhole in the back with the tassel fringe and really great long length I really like this dress I need to do more research because I didn't really see like these more dressy maxi dresses. I didn't look very far, but when I checked solds really quickly, I wasn't seeing these. I was seeing more sporty dresses, but I'm thinking that I will probably list this one somewhere between $30 and $40, and I paid $5 for it. This dress is uh, a brand called Hot Hippie. This is only the second time that I have found this brand. Here's what it looks like. Uh, size medium. This is a really pretty cow neck floral dress. I think it might have silk in it. I'll have to double check the material tag. But it's got the asymmetric hem. Um, draped. Just really beautiful. And Hot Hippie retails for quite a bit. And it has a pretty decent resale value. I picked this one up for $5. And I'm thinking I'll probably sell it between $40 and $50. 
This next dress I picked up just simply for a quick flip. Um, it's not going to go for a whole lot, but I only paid $2.50 for it because it was half off. I just really like the uh, striping details, how they're horizontal and then vertical at the top. I love the color pattern to this. Um, this is by Lauren Conrad, which is sold, I think, at Kohl's, size 6. Um, and then I also love the back detail. It's got kind of a somewhat of a cage back. It ties right here. And all in all, I just really love the spring colors to this. I think this is going to photograph really well, and I'm probably going to ask about $25. This next shirt is really unique. This is by the brand Quaker Factory, which definitely is not a brand that I tend to pick up. But I really loved all the embroidered stars, moons, sun detail. I'm going to put astrology in my title of this, and I think what I'm going to do is put it on my hanging mannequin, let this open a little bit, and then probably unbutton the bottom button and tie it just to give it a more modern look um, so that someone younger could wear this. But I think um, this will do really well. It's also got the embroidery and the star and the moon on the back. I don't know what I'm going to ask for this yet. It's a pretty unique piece, but I'm thinking between like $30 and $45, but I'm going to do more, more research. I think this piece is all about how you present it, and so for those reasons, that's how I'm going to style it. This next piece is just another quick flip. This is by Ann Taylor Loft, and I am just noticing that it's the outlet too. Um, so size extra large. I picked this up because it is a linen cotton blend. It's a longer length, so kind of like a tunic length. And then I like the chiffon detail at the bottom. Um, it had enough interesting details going for it and the fabric content's really good. I picked this up for half off, so I paid $2.50, or not $2.50, more like $2.20. And I will probably sell this for around $25. I paid up for this next jacket. I paid $9.99 for this. This is a jacket by Zara Women's Size Medium. It's kind of hard to show you with it just hanging on the hanger, but I'm going to probably use a stock photo on Poshmark, not eBay, because I've gotten in trouble for that before and it's against their rules, um, just to kind of show how this is supposed to lay. But I looked up the style number and this is called a khaki field jacket. And I think comps uh, look pretty good on this. I'm hoping to sell this one somewhere between 30 and 40, um, which is why I paid up for it. And um, Zara pieces like this tend to flip really quickly for me, which is why I was okay paying up for it. All right, this next piece is by a brand I have not found in a long time. Um, this is by the brand Cool, K-U-H-L, and they're kind of like Patagonia, I guess. They sell like outdoor hiking wear. This is a women's longer length uh, fleece jacket. When I looked up the style number, it's called the flight jacket. So I'm going to make sure to put that in my title. This is in like really excellent condition. Size extra small. This was probably only worn like once or twice. It's got some interesting like zipper detail. Um, so some things on this jacket are adjustable, but yeah, all in all, it's in really great condition. Here is the cool logo, if you're not familiar, but this is an amazing brand to find. So this jacket retails, if I remember correctly, for $179, and I'm probably going to ask about $50 for this. This next piece is by a brand I think everybody loves picking up. This is by Madewell. And it appears to be a more um, modern modern style based on the tag. Um, this is a size extra small. I think because it's such a small size, it might take a minute for this to sell. But I'm pr probably only going to ask about $25 for it. I only paid uh, $4.99. But this one in particular is a little different from the other ones I saw. Because it's not distressed, but it has that like uh, stonewashed faded look, which I really like. And yeah, I hope to sell this fairly quickly, but like I said, because of the sizing, I might be sitting on it for a couple months.
This next one's probably my favorite piece in the whole haul just because I think it's super cute. This is a denim jacket by Pilcrow in the le letter press, which is sold at Anthropology. This is a good size, a uh, size extra large. This one also feels like it's uh, probably only been worn once or twice, if at all. And this is a denim jacket, but what I love about this is the peplum detail at the bottom. It's got kind of like that uh, tablecloth plaid and then embroidery and eyelets. Um, I looked this one up and I didn't see a lot available on eBay. I think there were some on Poshmark. I'm not sure what I'm going to ask for this. I only paid, I think, $6.99 for it. Um, I think I'm going to ask close to $50 for this just because of how great of condition this jacket's in, but I was really happy with that find. Okay, this next piece is by Lauren Ralph Lauren, which I love to pick up. Um, here are the buttons. So this is a reversible jacket. The outside here is wool and then the inside is cotton. And it's got the houndstooth print, which is really popular in wool coats. Um, longer length. This is a size medium. Um, the tag's in one of the pockets. If you didn't know, reversible items usually have the tag in one of the pockets. I don't know if this is men's or women's. I think it's women's. I tried it on and it fit a little like loose for a women's medium, but at the same time, I think it's meant to fit a little bit oversized, so I'm not sure about this jacket. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, but regardless, I paid $6.99 for this jacket and comps look really good on this. In the past, similar pieces have sold for $50 and up. I need to do more research because it might be worth a lot more than $50, but I'm thinking at least $50. This next one was also a really great find. This is a coat by Talbots, which like I said in the past, isn't necessarily a brand that I seek after, but some of their pieces are really good and they do have a following. This is clearly a vintage piece. This is a Really beautiful uh, plaid wool duffel coat with the toggle closure. This is just so striking. It's going to do really well in photos. So if nothing else, I think the photos will sell it. Um, fully lined. And I have sold similar coat in the past, not by Talbots, but by Eddie Bauer. And I believe I sold that one between 75 and 100 and it was like the same thing. It was this bright plaid with a, a hood, duffel, toggle, um, pretty much all the same, just a different brand. And again, I sold that, I believe, between 75 and and $100 and the buyer was really happy. Um, I do think I'm going to sit on this for a minute because, you know, we are in warmer weather, but you never know. Um, but I'm hoping to sell it in that range again. And if you come across thick coats like this, um, I'd say they're definitely worth picking up. All right, so that's it for today's haul video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a comment down below. Are you guys outsourcing again? Are you deciding to stay home? Let me know. I'd love to know what you guys are doing in your reselling business. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.